I think previous colleagues mentioned previously that the scourge of drugs is in every community. One time we used to think that it was only a major urban centres that were afflicted by, by this scourge. But not only are the problems confined to any particular age group or persons in any particular socio socioeconomic sector, they're, they're um, causing difficulty in all strata of society. And in, we all know of individuals, families and communities that have been devastated by this scourge. There's a totally inadequate response by, at present by government. And that was highlighted very much through the intervention of the nine former Ministers of State who had all responsibility for the National Drug Strategy. And our colleague John Curran did an excellent job while he held that particular brief. The Government and the Minister must take seriously the concerns of those former Ministers. They, they, they outlined very clearly their concern about the lack of engagement with community groups and their concern about the centralisation of decision making. That's the exact opposite of what's needed in providing such necessary supports for persons with addiction problems. Minister Byrne, I've been in contact directly with yourself with regard to the Cavanaugh Monaghan Drug and Alcohol Service, where they, they forward you a very detailed letter where they are actually outlining that they'll have to wind down operations and dissolve the company by the end of 2020. That particular organisation has provided excellent support to so many individuals and families over the past number of years throughout Cavan and Monaghan. And I know that the Garda management at senior level very much value the supports that it has given to individuals and to families and communities. So, Minister, I would ask, appeal to you again, as I did through correspondence, and I, I, I acknowledge your, your prompt reply to me, but we must get a reply, Minister, that they would get the necessary financial support to continue to do the good work that they've been doing over many decades with some of the most vulnerable people in our communities. Thank you, Alaskan Corda.